Carpenter's Cabin is on 32 acres. You can explore it. It's easily walkable because there are so many pines. The pines are planted in very distinct rows. We realized that this was part of FDR's Civilian Conservation Corps. We built the cabin as a family retreat. It was important to me to create a space that was cozy enough for the kids to enjoy, but had enough luxury amenities to satisfy my husband and I. So we've blended those elements together to create the carpenter's cabin. What you'll find here are hardworking surfaces from the concrete waterfall countertop, which is the little luxury element, but is also super durable for the grandkids. The floors are reclaimed hardwood floors milled in Northern Ohio. All of the fabrics in the carpenter's cabin have been treated with non-toxic um, products rather than chemicals. I actually designed the cabin. It's a small footprint, 935 square feet that we managed to get almost 1,700 square feet across four stories. Then when you open the door, it kind of explodes. And then if you walk around to the back and you see all four stories, it's pretty incredible to see. The Carpenter's Cabin has four bedrooms, it has two master suites. Uh, there's a master on the main floor that has a custom uh, canopy platform bed. There's also a bunk room on the main floor which was built specifically for our grandkids. It's a twin over full. We actually have simply organic bed linens on all of the beds. There's a full bath on each of the floors. The main floor has a tub for kids, has a tub shower combo, two sinks, also has a washer and dryer in there. The loft has the second master suite. It has the third story screened in deck and it has hammock chairs up there. Just outside of the bedroom, there's just kind of like a little kitchenette. There's a mini fridge, there's a small microwave, coffee pot. We've got some coffees, teas up there. There's also a twin alcove bed up there. The lower level is a walkout, and it too has a full bathroom, and it has a bunk room down there. It's a full over full, it's kind of a unique setup. All of the bunk beds are built to hold adults. We do have a hot tub that's right off the lower level. Uh, there's actually access to it from the main floor master. So the fourth story is the perch. Way up high, you can actually see it when you enter the front door, you have to look way up. It has a round saucer bed. It's not for sleeping, it's basically for hiding out from your family. But you can go up there and you can read, you can take a nap, you can look out the circular window on the front of the cabin and just kind of daydream. So you'll notice whenever you walk in, you'll be able to see right down the back hall to the back door to the deck. So went into my dad's workshop. We found a hacksaw, a compass. We found a tape measure. You'll see those things down the, the back hall. There's no description on them, but just kind of stop and appreciate those. They're here because this is the carpenter's cabin. And if you look at the one in the center, there's a compass there with a red pencil. And my daughter happened to notice the other day that that red pencil says Ebenezer Church. Ebenezer Church is where my husband and I got married. Um, it's where I went to church as a little girl, where my grandmother always went to church. I think one of the surprises about the cabin is the staircase. We knew that we wanted it to be steel. Um, our son actually is a weld engineer, so we reached out to him. He did a great job, and I love it. I love walking in the door and seeing his work. It's a family cabin, so I just, I love seeing that part of him. Also, when you come in the door, you see not just his railings, but if you look just on past that, you'll see my dad's original wooden extension ladder. Really wanted to use it. For access to the perch. I wanted that little piece. We've got the gallery wall. I wanted that little bit up there. Uh, so I love that I see both. So I hope you enjoy staying at the car.